Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Data Toolkit. My name is Sakshi and in today's tutorial we will learn about the how to deploy the code from one environment to another environment in real time. So for example, how to deploy or move the code from dev to QA or PP or the prod. So there are total 4 environment, dev environment, QA environment, PP is nothing but it is the pre-prod environment and prod environment is our final environment. So always remember guys, once you implemented your mapping successfully as per the business logic, then you have to test that mapping into the development environment. We can call it as a dev or. So once your mapping is uh, done into the dev, then you can test it to ensure that your code is work, uh, work successful or fine. Then what you can do, you can take the screenshot as a proof and you can inform the client that uh, code is working fine in dev environment. Now we can move this code into the QA environment. Related to this, you will also get the Jira ticket. On Jira ticket, you can mention this everything. You can also attach the screenshot. So once your dev Jira ticket has been closed, then you will get the QA uh, testing jira ticket now let's understand what is uh, how we can deploy our code from dev to qa and same process we are following for the pp and prod so uh, by using the github we can do this so first our step is to create the branch so we will open the github repository you will always uh, you will get the access in the real time once you enroll into the project or once you once the project is allocated to you then you can create the new branch, make the required changes and commit the updates. So let me show you this into the demo. So this is the GitHub uh, repository guys. It is same look lies in the real time. So what we can do here, you can see the main branch. This main branch is by default branch. So in the main branch, we will create our branch. Suppose if I want to create my new branch, then I will simply give the name of my branch suppose demo code and click on create branch demo code from main branch i will click on this so you can see this branch is up to date with main branch okay and you can see this is the uh, branch name our branch name demo code is created so what we can do guys whatever code we have developed into the dev environment we can keep these all the details like ddl table ddl rollback scripts everything into the our local machine and then we can upload it from here there here so you can see there are options like code issues pull request action project there are multiple options so what you have to do you can click on add file so there are again two options create new file and upload files so if you are using the create new file option then, then you can simply copy paste your code here and if you want to upload the files then simply click on file it will ask you to choose your files so from local machine you can select the file so i will select anything so you can see the file is uploaded successfully now it will ask me to commit the changes so i will click on commit changes so you can see here my file is uploaded here just now you can also see my all the branches i have created the four branches if i click here you can see my all the branches name demo core code demo this is all are my active branches so if you click on my file you can see it looks like this and if you want to edit your file then you can simply go to here edit file edit in place so you can click here and you can do the changes what suppose if you want to add anything then it will ask you cancel changes commit changes so you can click on commit changes commit changes so here you can see the options compare and pull request so what we have mentioned in our steps second steps is merge the code once the changes are ready we merge the branch into qa branch 
If there are any conflict during the merge, we open the conflict file and resolve the issue. You can see here there are no conflict. We will click on compare and pull request. So just click on this. You can add, in the add description, guys. You can add the description of what you want to do exactly. So deploy code to QA. Then you can create a pull request. Just click on create pull request. Here you can see your branch. See some rules require approval from specific reorg before merging. So always remember guys in real time once you have created the pull request and merge the pull request before that you need to um, whenever you are creating the merge pull request then you need to take the approval from the development team so you can see your assign assigners are there so there are multiple options assign up to 10 people to this pull request and you can see here it is also showing the notification this branch has no conflict with the base branch so now we will do one thing we merge the pull request confirm merge now here we can add the comment like approve you can see this comment box is disabled now i will add the approve comment as a developer you can ask in the team within a team you can ask or your senior you, know, you can ask to review the code before sending then click on commit so you can see my approval is there so once developer is provide the approval it is showing here with the developer name so in this way guys you can uh, upload your code into the github repository in the file change you can also check your files here you can review the click on review the changes so once you merge and pull your request you, you will not able to edit the file you can only uh, able to open the file or view your file so in real time what we are doing we will simply click the uh, we will simply copy this file link of this uh, not file we will copy the link of this repository and we'll paste it this into the gcp group so there are always the gcp group has been created in your uh, team within a team so gcp team what gcp team do here they will verify your code so let me show you approval process we can say it approval process after the merge a team member from dev team review and approves the merge request this i already show you then gcp team verify the code they check for the things like your uh, ddl is correct or not syntax issue rollback script table name and backups are there so it is corrected or not if they find any issue they ask you to be uh, uh, ask them to fix it before approving then deployment to qa then once the gcp team give the final approval code is deployed to qa environment we verify the deployment to ensure everything works fine so after the post deployment guys what we have to do we can save these branch links branch code and tax flow information so this branch code details we need uh, to deploy the code in pp and prod that's the purpose we need the branch code so every client is provide you some templates in that template you have to uh, keep your all the information and then after that by using the ci cd pipeline you can uh, run your tax flow and you can uh, create the build and release if you click on action here also you can configure your workflow so this is all about how to deploy the code from one environment to another environment so i hope guys you like this video if you feel this video is really informative please like comment and share my video thank you for watching keep growing and learning